welcome to Accessibility Services module on Social Media Accessibility Strategies. The focus of the Social Media Accessibility Strategies module is to understand the functions and accessible features of social media platforms, learn how to create accessible posts on social media, and enhance your understanding of the value of social media accessibility. Social media can have a positive impact on each of our academic, professional, and personal lives. This is because Social media has a wide range of uses, like being a place to learn, stay connected with family and friends, promote businesses or products, and many more. Social media accessibility comes in as we recognize that not all users experience these benefits without having to face certain barriers. To learn how to help, it is important to understand the different social media platforms that exist. Social media platforms provide users with a designated website or app to connect, post, and interact with others virtually. The following social media platforms are some of the most used in the world. Each range from different focuses, like how Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook focus on posting and interacting with followers. LinkedIn focuses on professional networking. YouTube focuses on sharing creative video content and WeChat focuses on connecting others through messaging and video and voice calling. Some social media platforms have third-party web applications that increase their accessibility features. EasyChirp is a great example of an accessible Twitter third-party web application that provides a more consistent layout, full access keyboard navigation, better support for assistive technologies like screen readers, and much more. Now that we have identified the main social media platforms, this section will provide tips and information on using social media effectively. Social media can be a great space for learning new skills and connecting with others in your program or field. Facebook groups and networking platforms such as LinkedIn or WeChat can be used to hear the perspective and opinions of others and collaborate with your peers or professionals. This will allow you to also build your confidence in interacting with others. Educational YouTube channels such as Crash Course or TED Talks also provide great sources to learn about different subjects, concepts, and applications, especially for auditory and visual learners. As well, searching by hashtags allow users direct access to opinions, articles, and video content related to a specific topic or industry on platforms like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. If you do not know how to create social media posts that are accessible, start with these five tips that can ensure your content is legible, concise, and inclusive. For visual content, be sure to add alternate text or video captions. For text content, use camel case hashtags, inclusive language, Avoid unique fonts or mathematical characters, and do not overuse emojis. As discussed earlier, alternative text is an important step to create accessible visual content. An alternative text is a concise description of the content in an image or graphic. For example, a possible alternative text for the image on the right could be Downward angle of a blue bin filled with books on the sidewalk with a cardboard sign on the front that says free books. Adding that alternative text would be extremely helpful for individuals who are blind or have low vision, those who have unreliable Wi-Fi connection, those who do not understand the language used in the post, and many more. While creating alternative text, it is helpful to write them as if you were describing the image to someone on the phone and remember to avoid phrases that could be redundant. It may also be useful to think about the content and function of the image or graphic. Before creating the alternative text, ask yourself, what aspects would you want the user to visualize and what is the purpose of the image? Along with alternative text, closed captions in social media is very important for visual content. Closed captions translate dialogue for viewers that can be turned on or off. And unlike subtitles, captions do not assume that the audience can hear music, background sounds, or nonverbal content.
for social media platforms with no automatic captioning, consider using Apple Clips, which is a useful built-in app that includes live title captions that automatically generate as you speak and appear on screen to match the timing of your voiceover, along with multiple simple video editing features. An alternative to automatic closed captioning on social media platforms or applications is SRT files. SRT files contain all the dialogue within video content needed to provide closed captioning. This can be created on built-in apps like TextEdit or Notepad and apply to LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube videos. Interacting with others and posting about your life on social media calls for an awareness to know how much is safe to reveal online. Security on social media revolves around having strong and unique passwords for all of your accounts and the devices where the accounts are on. Along with password protection, do not post any personal information and consider customizing your privacy settings to what you are comfortable being public. Additionally, Develop good habits to be cautious of accepting friend requests and messages you receive. Online reputation is also very important as many employers may look to your social media profiles to get an idea of the kind of person and worker you are. Consider creating a professional social media account to display insightful posts about your academic experiences and career path. Ultimately, you can help create an accessible social media environment while using these strategies. Engaging in each of these will help you gain a better understanding of social media accessibility as a social media user and content creator. For more information on how to access services and supports through accessibility services, including information on learning strategies and troubleshooting in the online environment, please register for the Accessibility Services Learn course and subscribe to the Accessibility Services YouTube channel.